into this shit. What the fuck is going on? Who the fuck's riding with you that got the balls to pull a strap on me? I ain't done. She gonna catch a hot one for sure. That motherfucker's gonna die. What's up, Power Fans on YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. In this video, I'll be talking about the possibility of Tariq pinning Monet's shooting on Tommy. Also, whether or not Davis will be tempted by Don Carter to give up Tariq. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you're welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, do check out my last video on episode one. I'll leave the link in the description below. Now, let's get straight into the topics. Now, Monet is on the verge of looking for whoever shot her. We all know who did it, but the question is, will Monet ever find out? Now, we all know Monet that she will not stop until she finds whoever shot at her. We saw it when Zeke was killed. Despite Lorenzo making someone else take the fall, other events happened for Monet to find out the true killer of her son, and we know how that ended. Now, in this case, there is only one person who knows the shooter, and there is no way Tariq will give his mother up. Now, in my last video, I spoke about leverage and that Tariq is holding the biggest card to play. Even though for now there is some form of truce between Tariq and the Taharis together with Norma, he will have to maintain the posture and keep some leverage alive for later use. Therefore, it will not be ideal for Tariq to snitch on Diana and Drew concerning the plan they had against their own mother. The fact is that Diana and Drew planned it, but they were not responsible for whoever shot their mother. Now, here is my theory on how Tariq can possibly approach Monet convincingly without implicating his mother. Before that, my question is, who else can take the fall for this for it to make sense to Monet? If Tariq can't give up Drew and Diana now, who then can he point fingers at? Of course, he can't say Davis because that will not make any sense. He can't point at Obi, else it means Norma gave the order. And if Monet is convinced that it was Norma, that would be like a clash of titans. Also, there isn't any member left in the Goro family to say he or she is coming for revenge, so... Who can Tariq point fingers at? Because the fact is, Monet will not take that simple answer from Tariq that he doesn't know. And definitely, it can't be Tate. There is no relation to that. Now, here is the breaker. Tariq will have to point Monet to someone's direction that can be potential threat to her and someone that can't be easily reachable. And that is Tommy Egan. Saying Tommy was the one who did it will not make Tariq expose his mother or even bring suspicion to her. Now, before you comment, wait, let me break this down for you. Now, if you cast your mind back to Power Book 2 Ghost Season 1, there is a pending grudge between Monet and Tommy. Monet has something that belongs to Tommy. And as we all know, Tommy hardly let go of grudges, not to talk of a woman having the balls enough to take his gun from him. Now, in episode 10 of Power Book 2 Ghost Season 1, after Tasha ratted on Tommy, she went to Monet to buy her son out and Tommy did a drive-by shoot at Monet and Tasha. Now, after what seemed to be a form of truce between Tommy, Tasha and Tariq, Tariq had a feeling Tommy would not let go and still go after his mother. So what happened? Tariq called Monet for help. Yeah, I need your help. Nah. Now, to convince Monet to show up in the middle of him and Tommy's conflict about his mother, Tariq gave away an information to Monet, which is that it was the same Tommy who shot at her at the bar. I hear you that punk ass nigga that shot up my bar last night. This was the motivation for Monet to show up at the cemetery that night. So mind you, this will not be the first time Tariq will snitch on his uncle to Monet. Now, at the cemetery, Monet pulled up on Tommy and took his gun. Even though Tommy requested for his gun, he was denied, and we all know why. He would have popped Monet there and there if they have tried giving his gun back to him. Now, what I want you to do is to take notice of this incident because a typical Tommy Egan will not let this slide for Monet. I ain't never gonna stop. Now, that is a buildup of a reason Tariq can give Monet to justify the possibility of Tommy being the shooter. And I don't think Tariq needs to tell Monet directly that it was his uncle, but there are so many ways he can make statements to remind Monet that she has something that belongs to Tommy, which is his gun. And knowing his uncle very well, there is no way he will forgive her until she sees feet under. So if you ask me, it is very easy and believable to point this towards Tommy. And if I can second guess Tariq, he can possibly tell Monet that, well, Monet, you have my uncle's gun and as far as I know him, he doesn't let go of grudges no matter how long it takes. Well, he still came after my mother after all this war 
and I was lucky to be there on time to save her. If he can do this to family, guess what he'll do to a stranger? If I was you, I'd be careful with this one. Now, fast forward, what would make Monet even believe this more? Where was Tommy when Monet was shot? He was in town. It was around the same period Tommy chased Tasha to go and kill her. So Tariq can convince Monet that the period all this happened, his uncle went after his mother again and he managed to save her. So it is possible from there, he points his anger towards her direction. Now, if this theory is correct, then I presume that was the reason we heard Monet in the next episode's teaser that that motherfucker's gonna die. She sounded like after their conversation, she has a fair idea of who tried killing her. Now, Tommy is in Chicago, so it would take a lot of work for Monet to want to look for him and kill. And the distance is good enough for Tariq to buy some time for his next action whilst keeping Drew and Diana as leverage in his pocket in case he needs it. Now, question is, why is Monet even reaching out to Tariq to find out who shot at her? It means she didn't get any answers from her kids and probably didn't trust her kids in this. Now, this is not the first time Monet will resort to Tariq for help in getting information. She did it when she wanted to know which of her kids she can trust. She did it again when Zeke was killed and this time around, she's doing it for herself. So reaching out to Tariq in a time like this is typical of Monet, but it's up to Tariq to play wisely. Hence, pointing Monet to someone who can fight her is what Tariq needs to do now. And Tommy is the perfect candidate to use based on their history I stated early on. So let me know what you also think in the comments section below. Now, will Monet hunt Tommy? Big question. Well, that would depend on her certainty that he was the shooter. Like I said, even if this theory works, I don't think Tariq will be definite in his submission to Monet. He's probably going to make it look like it could be Tommy and he could be wrong. Now, Monet will want to dig more to be sure she's not starting a wrong war because if she isn't sure Tommy was the shooter and she makes any move on Tommy and fails, her entire family will be wiped in a minute. But let me know what you also think in the comment section as well. Let's talk about Davis. Now, Davis in the teaser seemed to be having a conversation with Don Carter and I presume he reached out to Davis to help him find something more about Tariq and his dealings. Even though we all know Davis won't break, there is always something someone wants that can potentially put him or her in a state of breaking. Now, at this crucial moment, what does Davis want? He wants his law license back so badly, something his brother sacrificed his life for. No, I, I'm not letting anyone take away the license my brother sacrificed his fucking life for. Not happening. Now, what does Don Carter want? Tariq. He wants to make sure Tariq pays for what he has done to Junior. Now, it's time to trade or not. Will Davis break and snitch on Tariq if Detective Don Carter promised him his law license back? Will Davis give up Tariq for his law license? Let me know what you also think in the comments section below. What would you do if you were Davis in this situation? Drop your thoughts and theories in the comments section below. Let's discuss. Let me quickly touch on Kane and Monet. Now, we all see Kane telling Monet about how different the game is now. You know, Kane has always wanted to be the number one spot in the Tahara family, even when Lorenzo was still alive. So we might still be seeing that old Kane still persisting to be in charge. But we all know Monet is not going to let that happen. She started this whole drug game and there is no way she will give it up to her children. But let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Drop your thoughts and theories in the comment section. Let's have a discussion. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, share. Most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.